good, brother. Are you? Yeah, not too bad. Thanks, mate. Sorry about this. Fucking hell. I only just got in. Fuck hell. Rush or what? How are you doing, everyone? Anyway, you're okay, yeah? Yeah, we're all good, John. We're all good, mate. We're all dying to hear the story, what you got to tell us about fighting trolls and the fucking... Yeah. ...dodgy medicine, got... what I tell you, the little bag. Uh, which one? Uh, Hector. No, Hector. Fa- well, you can tell us a few stories. Tell us a story about Hector. You can tell us about fighting trolls when he sold you that medication. What people want right, to hear. Okay. I can start from any point you want, right? I get in touch with this Hector. He's asking me, oh, John, you know, do you want to fight this fight in trolls? And I'm like, yeah, yeah, sound, whatever. Off my fucking head on diazepam. And then, um, you know, obviously, the fight doesn't go through. I, I, you know, all the shenanigans behind the scene. Remember how he says diazepam. Not tramadol. Not any other kind of medicine. He says diazepam. The reason why I've left this video for a while because I've been speaking to his ex-partner. His ex-partner who's got his kids. I've been speaking to her behind the scenes. And they uh, got some inside information about you, Mr. Mozzer. Let's let you talk yourself into an early grave. Well, you're not here now. You're not here for the public safety because you are a risk. You are a risk to your partner. Ex-partner, sorry. Sorry. And your kid. That's why you've got a five-year, she said, five-year restraint thingy. And it's going to get extended just before you get out. Just depends on what courses you do in prison, why you're in prison. Anger management, alcohol, uh, what are, enhanced thinking skills, she said. Other courses like that to prove that you have changed. And even then, the judge said she'll get an extension because how violent. How violent you were through the past, how violent you were in the relationship and just be- the day before you broke up. I just can't believe you brought your own son into this. Your own son, your own flesh and blood. You use your son as an excuse. You use your son to try and get to your ex- back, to- back against your ex-partner. Some words can't describe. You went missing for a while, didn't you? You went missing from your YouTube channel, she said. And you made out it was some other excuse, but you were on remand, weren't you, John? Weren't you? You were on remand. For communication? Communications with your ex-partner? Because you on bail conditions not to contact him and you did and you breached them and you were put on remand for three or four months something like that let's listen to what you got to say and we'll say more about what your partner said about you because you're sitting so then you fast forward two years to where we are right now You've got Hector coming out, calling me a fucking a freak, everything under the sun, calling me whatever I am, Hector, saying he's going to come up to your... Your words for whatever I am. You are one sick individual. And everybody got sucked in about you. Everybody believed you. Everybody got Sucked in by you, sucked in by your lies, by your behaviour. You played the victim. That's where Emma said on Exposure TV, she, she felt sorry for you. But I don't feel sorry for you. I hope you get what you deserve in prison. I hope people find out the jail you go, what you've done, and I hope you get fucking really tortured in jail. 
People like you need to get hot watered, sugar and hot water together, and tipped all over that fucking ugly face of yours, you horrible beastie bastard. Yorkshire in January to do me in. Come on then, Hector. I think I've said you, you fucking bow selector freak. You know what I mean? He said he's, he's coming up to do me in for uh, copywriting his, his video he did of me. Yeah, I copyrighted it. I copyrighted it because I don't like pricks like him benefiting off people like us because he doesn't deserve it. He's just, he's not done anything. He's just been in the background. Uh, what's the word? Um, He's just been benefiting off people. Bo Selector, woohoo! Yeah, exactly. Yeah, you, Hector, get on the fucking live now, you prick. I dare you to say the shit you said last night to me now, you little fucking melt. I hope you've got the energy you have on this panel. I hope you have the energy like that inside. But you won't. You'll be hiding behind your fucking door, under your bed, the rim of your toilet. Just to get away from people that want to kill you and hurt you. There'd be no hiding place there for you, mate. Because even on the wrong side, they don't like people who bully women and kids. When did this happen? Whose panel was it on that, John, last night? He said it on exposure, on his own. He said to me, he said, you fucking little tranny, uh, Mozza, you fucking this, that, the other. Uh, do you know what I mean? Every, all shit under the sun. Everything that I fucking, uh, which I couldn't give two fucks about, to be honest. Yeah, whatever. I did it with my missus. Can you admit anything you did with your missus, fucking Hector, the fucking Bo Selector? Fucking you do, you fucking melt. Get him on, Hector. I'm going to put the link up. I am going to go see that. I'm going to have a look at that. Is that a video on a video, is it? Yeah, he put it on a video. He said, message to Mozza, the Mel, and he said, you fucking... But, uh, check out his page. The little prick. That's what got me coming last time. So you have been quite fucking fingered then, ain't you? Do you, know? so what, you don't put a copyright strike against him or something. I did, yeah. I'll be honest with you, I did against him, yeah. Because I don't like him take. He was taking the piss out of me, taking the piss out of Cesspit. And, and that's not me. I love Cesspit. This is. Yeah, but you've had. You have took the piss out of people. Aren't you, Moz? You've took the piss out of people. What platforms you've been on? They've took you and they've trusted you. They've let you speak. And this is how you treat them. It proves, like people say. You don't know what kind of people are on YouTube till the truth comes out. You cannot take a person's word about what they've done, what, who they are, anything. This is why I hide my face, because you bring your face out there, then you, you're just letting yourself known it, and they drag all the stupid little shit up. Like I said, my acros there. I can prove what I've done and what I haven't done. But I'll do that when the time comes. Until then, you just have to do with me ugly fucking voice. I'm sorry about that. Where I was, I was like giving um, views and everything. So yeah, fuck him. If I, I won't copyright strike him, he doesn't do anything. You can say like, "Oh, fighting trolls is a fucking smackhead." Spy said, "Then go for it. Go for it. you know what I mean. I'm not asked. Just don't be associating me with." But I've had some information to say, and that's fake. That's false. He's not a smackhead. He's not a spy. Said. I've had it off a good source, and the good source is your ex-partner who said everything you said about him was lies. It was lies when you said you brought some tablets off him. You didn't buy him off fighting trolls. You brought him off a third party. Not fighting trolls. If you took him with fighting trolls, like your ex-partner said, you would have been out with fighting trolls. You wouldn't have come back to the house. You went back to the house, and that's where you had him. Off your home back because you couldn't get your other ones, diazepam. 
could you? So you brought them instead, that's all they had. It had nothing to do with fighting trolls. Shit, I've done with cesspit. This is to circle here. Go out of it, Hector, and do your own thing. Yeah, go on then, Hector. Upload your mozzarella video. I don't care what you've got, lad. You've got nothing. You're a nobody. I'd smash you in two minutes, lad, if you were here right in front of me. Why would you fancy, fancy, fancy your chances against Hector Mozart? I fucking would, yeah. I seriously would. I've never seen him fight. All I've heard is shit about him. He's a horrible person. Yeah, sorry, I'll keep... Where are you there? You aren't at your brother's. You're in your bail conditions, aren't you? Your bail house. Where the court bailed you back to. Well, that's what your ex-partner said. She said you're at bail conditions and you've got a certain time you've got to be in. 7 till 11 or something like that. And you couldn't even smash a window. Never mind. Down, yeah. Yeah, he's, a, he's, just a, just a, he's just a horrible person. I don't know. Yeah. yeah. I agree, yeah. Uh, I don't know I, I, What do you guys think Anyway you tell us I haven't seen the video Where he's come out Attacking you th Was it today Did you say oh. mm, I think it was Day before yesterday Actually He's put a few videos out And he's put a few videos out He's Back and forth So obviously You'll put a strike in Against this channel So is this Do you reckon Why he's got This, this is why he's got Like a little bit of hate Towards you now Because you put yeah, yeah, 100%. Yeah. First hate toward me, and then I don't know. I need to add something. Oh, oh, oh. Penis! That's funny. Tell another one. Where you've got put in the hospital with them. Yeah, I got hospitalized with that. Um... They, I don't know what it was, but like, I don't, again, I, this this is my own fault. I want people to know, 100% my own fault. I met with Fighting Trolls in, it was about 2017, 18. My son was about two years old at the time. And I was, my head wasn't in the right mind space. And I'd met with Fighting Trolls in real. So I lived in Derby at the time. My uh, partner, Gemma, was picking Isaac up. So I go... X partner x i've never gone on with fighting trolls so i've no, got no i've done videos about him i've got no need, need to lie about him but like your ex-partner said you took him off your own back and what you say now is true by what she says she says so i know she's telling the truth so let's listen to what you got to say and i'll tell you what she said meet fighting trolls to pick up a load of Valium off him. So I go and buy some tires. There you go. Diazepam. Not Tramadol. You said it was Tramadol at first. That's what she said to me. That you're saying it was Tramadol. No, 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 no. You went there to buy Diazepam. This is how I know she's telling, telling the truth. You said you were going there to buy Diazepam. When you got there, she told me that they said they didn't have them. They had the next best thing. More stronger. That's what you said to her. Let's listen. Oh, we, meet, we do that video everybody sees, you know. Oh, meet that lad down there. You know, we're all off our heads on. Whatever. But I don't actually... I'm not going to blame Fighting Trolls wholly because I don't think he knew what was in them. I think they were um, uh, like a more powerful version of Diazepam. You don't think... You know, they were diazes. And what she said, when you got back home, you had an argument because she told you that she didn't want you to take any. But you were recovering from losing your dad or something, something like that, and you took loads of them. That's how you were coping. So you said drink, but it wasn't drink, was it? It was drugs. So... This is how you work, because you took a big handful. 
And what you, what she said, the hospital said you did is put yourself in a in a reduced coma. Your body shut down or something. And she was the one who phoned the ambulance. What's the word? He was selling them for fifteen pound a box. He was selling them now. Now I look back on it, that's pretty fucking cheap for a box of diazepam. There was something like, um, what's the word? Uh, do you know, el elzipam or something? There's a there's a weird word uh, where it's a very powerful um, benzo, which can put you knocks you out basically, and. Uh, See what you were going to say then, you slipped up, put you in a coma. But you realised by what you were going to say, didn't you, John? You realised and you stopped yourself. So everything she's told me is the truth. Um, so I, I was t taking them like smarties, everyone. Here. Yeah, I was taking them like fuck I was. Uh, I wake up three days later in A&E in Glanclood Hospital. And I'm like, where am I? I'm like you're in, you're, you're in the... Um, the A and E, I'm like yeah, that's the word that Adam Scott put. I can't spell, I can't pronounce it. Adam Scott's put the word in it there. No, not Lawrence Pam, the one Adam Spot uh, Scott's put. Can anybody pronounce it for us? Can you pronounce it? Um, yeah, I don't know, like, uh, El El Tizalam El Tizalam or something. Yeah, El, El Tizalam. That was that was in my system. El Tizalam and um, El Tizalam. Um, I woke up three days later, fucking into of death. And I wasn't gonna. I wasn't going to out um, fighting trolls. Everybody could see back on the video. It was Gemma that got pissed off of it. I was like, pull sound and everything. It was Gemma that said, "John, what you want about? He's the one that sold you all this shit." And that is lies. That is lies. See how you put it on in some people, bringing in some people into it again. How can we say? What you're saying now is the truth. It's not. And I've been told it's not. He's the one that put you in hospital and everything. And then I came out and said, fuck it. Um, uh, that, that's when I came out and basically said, that's why when you said, you see all the videos you've seen after, I went on a really downward spiral like that. Anyway, you watched that video. Yeah, exactly, Jennifer. You've seen it. Nice one. Lucky. <laughs> Ken. Everybody on here, please keep your opinions to this gentleman here, not his ex-partner, not the people, his family, because I've been told people have been emailing, not emailing, messaging people because they know the names saying he's wrong and just give them a bit of support instead of hate. They... I've not done anything. It's this horrible person here. Stop being haters for once. I've got nothing I'll say about this person. He says it for itself or what you read about him and what you get told. He was a liar. He was a manipulator. And he's a risk to people. If he's willing to put his son at risk like he did to get to his ex-partner, what is he capable of if his mind was in the wrong place? That's what you got to think of. Where would he take it next? I think he would really hurt somebody. And I don't think he got long enough for what he did to the people he was supposed to love. He needed longer. He needs to set an example of, and I hope somebody does. And he needs to stay off YouTube. Because he'll get terrorised. But people say, oh, it's in his past. No, it's fucking not. It, people like him will never, ever change. And that's all I've got to say. Tell another one. <laughs>